This could have been a Roku original. What's going on people? Alex Thorne here and I'm just a rock and roller who likes to watch movies in his downtime while wearing a bandana and after a week and a half of not being able to watch any movies being down in the trenches of recording my new ep and refining things and tons of emails back and forth and all this stuff i finally decided to park my ass down on my couch my oh so comfortable couch and watch sick which is a peacock original I feel like this movie, the first two acts of this movie have been done over a thousand times. Uh, when I say there's nothing to distinguish this movie, when it starts till about the final 20 minutes, there's nothing different in this movie than a previous movie I watched which I regret it, called The Initiation, which was a Roku exclusive or original. And, you know, I don't mean to like shit on this movie the moment you watch this review, but truth be told, it's just, I'll never watch it again. I won't remember anything about it. I'm doing this review for you right now, and as unprofessional as it may be, because I'm just like you, I'm, I'm just, you know, sitting down watching movies. I cannot remember how this movie started, where this movie was in the in the middle. All I can remember was how it ended because it was the only thing that was different about this movie in any way, shape, or form. And the basic premise of this Peacock original movie is this. These people are at a party. They're having a good time. It's the midst of COVID. Somebody's kissing somebody else. Boom. Opens up the movie. It's two girls, the two main characters in the movie. They're going out to a retreat. There's one little thing about where's your mask. I remember that from early on in the movie. She really pressures her into putting it on. She puts it on. They go. They're having a good time there. Uh, this guy who really cannot let her go shows up. Um, they obviously had some type of a fling. By the way, before I even go any further, my God, uh, you know, once upon a time you used to cast people in movies that were you know pretty or handsome on the other side or something that was memorable or redeeming i don't even remember what these people looked like i just know their genders and that's it from there honestly <laughs> the dude gets killed in pretty brutal fashion this is where my confusion began because i didn't read reading is fundamental but I didn't read the synopsis of the movie. I just saw Sick, and I think I saw a 30 second trailer that I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, the thing about the mask, I'm like, they're gonna incorporate COVID some way, somehow, or it'll be a joke in the movie or something. And this is where I started to just be like, so this is a slasher film in the midst of COVID, and COVID really has nothing to do with this. I really, really, really thought that this movie was going to be about like, almost like It Follows, right? If you guys know that movie, um, you know, where something was following them and like they gave COVID, you know, this mysterious, you know, uh, unseen demon type of thing. I thought that's what this was going to be. And instead, it's just fucking people in ski masks uh, running after these girls and killing and trying to kill them unsuccessfully by the way and like the amount of tripping and the amount of bullshit that this guy in the ski mask the first guy does it's comparable to the first screen where it's just like my god dude can you fucking slow down he's like it felt like a young bumbling idiot and then later on you find out it is so i'm gonna fast forward this review right now and just say right at the end of this one of the ski mask killers gets killed and then you find out that there's a second ski mask killer. And in the end of this fucking movie, 
It's a family. I'm going to ruin this shit for you. Spoilers. Whatever. The It's a family whose son died of COVID. And now they're tracing it back to the girl, the main character in the movie, who was at a party being irresponsible, kissing several people throughout the party. It is very irresponsible, especially in the midst of COVID. And they're pointing the finger at her. She's the reason why their son died. Now, am I saying that's a terrible uh, premise? No. But the way this movie sets it up from the beginning all the way up to the final 15 or 20 minutes, my God, you just don't give a shit once this is revealed. And once you see the faces of the people, it's so ordinary. It's so blah. There's nothing to it. Again, it reminds me of the movie The Initiation, where at the end of it, I was like, I'll never watch this movie again. There's nothing to this movie I ever want to see again, and I regret even watching it the first time. And so with all that being said, I am going to give Peacock's original sick zero bandanas on the bandana system, literally, because there's nothing in this movie brand new. There's nothing in this movie that's memorable. There's nothing in this movie that makes you say, I really, really, really want to watch that again. The killers are blah. The main characters are blah. The plot line up to the last 20 minutes is just blah. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I did not enjoy it. And I, I hope the next movie that I actually get to sit down and watch is enjoyable for me. And uh, please understand my frustration after pouring all of this time and effort into this EP that I'm coming out with and, and talking to my team and, and all this stuff, phone calls and emails, when you finally get to sit down, which there's more work to come, but when you finally get to sit down, you convince yourself that you deserve to watch a movie. I'm one of those guys who has to tell himself he deserves to watch a movie. You do that and then you watch something and it's a complete waste of time. <laughs> so understand my emotion and my anger here. So with that being said, did you enjoy the movie I just shit all over? <laughs> sick. Did it make you sick? Did it remind you that we still, in some places, have to wear these? You know, it reminded me. My son has to wear one every day for school. I have to wear it occasionally, depending on what uh, I'm doing at my shoot job, or if we're in a very tight studio or something like that, I have to wear these. But other than that, like I said in the beginning of this uh, review, this could have been a Roku exclusive meaning very few people should ever watch this movie. All right, I'm Alex Thorne, and hopefully the next one is better than this one. With all that being said, you know what I got to do. I got to go work on some rock and roll, and then we can all watch a movie together. <laughs> Good God, this was trash.